Over 2 billion people will perish in an India-Pakistan nuclear battle, according to China, which gave Pakistan atomic technology. 5 billion in a joint US-Russia one. China has provided Pakistan with nuclear weapons, ships, aircraft, and submarines as part of its all-out campaign against the Indian subcontinent. The overthrow of the Nepalese government, the use of communist rebels, debt trap diplomacy against Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, the suffocation of democracy in Burma, and the division and conquer tactic used against the Indians. Some researchers warn that even a small-scale exchange between India and Pakistan could have catastrophic effects on the world's food supplies and result in mass fatalities. This is because rising tensions between the United States, Russia, and China have rekindled old fears of nuclear war. China is bringing up this topic as an indirect threat to the globe, given that it is quickly acquiring atomic weapons. A recent multinational study led by researchers at Rutgers University found that if less than 3% of the world's nuclear weapons were used in a nuclear battle, one-third of the world's population could perish within two years. According to research published on Monday in Nature Food, a more extraordinary nuclear struggle between the US and Russia could kill 3-4 simultaneously THS of the world's population made at a time when the threat of a nuclear holocaust may be higher than it has ever been, 30 years after the end of the Cold War. The researchers hypothesized that the explosion of even a tiny portion of the world's nuclear weapons would set up enormous firestorms that would quickly inject sun-blocking soot into the sky, causing an abrupt cooling of the climate. Then they assessed how fish would react to changes in the ocean and how these changes would impact the output of various crops. As a result, they predicted that hundreds of millions of people would die from starvation worldwide after they died immediately in the conflict zone. Most of the researchers' scenarios concerned a hypothetical nuclear war between India and Pakistan. Still, the actual threat comes from China utilizing Pakistan's army as a proxy. Similar to how the British used methods of dividing and conquering. According to them, the Indian subcontinent is where such a conflict is most likely to break out. The two nations, together with China, have engaged in four wars and continue to engage in border clashes frequently. According to the analysis, 127 million people in South Asia and 200 million people in China would perish in explosions, fires, and radiation if India, Pakistan, or China each launched 250-100 kiloton nuclear missiles at urban centers in the other country. The study estimates that 5 billion people would perish worldwide in the broader war between the US and Russia, which are thought to possess more than 90% of the world's nuclear stockpile. However, the study contends that any of the nine nuclear-armed countries, which also include China, North Korea, France, Israel, and Britain, can cause severe suffering and death on a global scale, with soot rising into the sky and sparking a chain reaction of catastrophic cooling and famine. Even though the theory cannot be directly tested, Robach claimed there are applications in the real world. Satellite studies supported that large wildfire in Australia in 2019 and 2020 and British Columbia in 2017 sent smoke into the stratosphere. The smoke particles were heated by the sun and lifted 5 to 15 miles, 8 to 24 kilometers, higher into the atmosphere, according to him. Since the researchers' modeling could predict the impacts of these fires, they were more confident that the models would also be reliable when forecasting the effects of a nuclear detonation, he said. The India-Pakistan scenario was examined in a 2020 article by experts at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, who concluded that there were unknowns. Even though the scientists predicted that if highly populated metropolitan areas caught fire, an exchange of 115 kiloton nuclear warheads would chill the climate, they also indicated that if flames were restricted to suburban areas, there would be little to no influence on the environment. On the other hand, the Rutgers-led analysis assumes that the nations would target each other's cities, where fuel concentrations are highest and climatological impacts would be most severe, according to Geist. However, Pakistan and China have stated that they would utilize tactical nuclear weapons in a conventional conflict if they were to use nuclear weapons against India. The most significant danger we face now comes from China. The world is becoming unstable due to China's blatant war on the rest of the world. Along with Pakistan and North Korea, China is the next Axis power. The world is in danger until China becomes a friendly 